Welcome to the first lesson on the Mayan number system. In this lesson, we'll focus on converting Mayan numbers to base 10 numbers. There were two numerical systems developed by the Mayans, one for the common people and one for the priests. Not only did the two systems use different symbols, they also used different base systems. For the priests, the number system was governed by ritual. The days of the year were thought to be gods, so the formal symbols for the days were decorated heads, like the sample below. Since the basic calendar was based on 360 days, the priestly numerical system, the priestly numeral system used a mixed base system employing multiples of 20 and 360. This makes for a confusing system, which will not be discussed in this lesson. Instead, we will focus on the number system of the common people, which used a more consistent base system. As we stated earlier, the Mayans used a base 20 system called the phagismal system. Like our system, it is positional, meaning that the position of the numeric symbol indicates its place value. In the following table, you can see the place value in its vertical format. And the Mayans did use this vertical format. Starting at the bottom, notice how we can determine the place value starting with 20 to the zero, which is the one's place value, and then increasing the exponent by one as we move up vertically. So 20 to the first would be the 20's place value, 20 to the second would be the 400's place value, and so on. In order to write numbers down, there were only three symbols used in this system. A horizontal bar represented the quantity five, a dot represented the quantity one, and a special symbol, thought to be a shell, pictured here, represented zero. The Mayan system may have been the first to make use of zero as a placeholder or number. The first 20 numbers are shown in the table to the right. So you may want to pause the video so you can look over this table. Notice how one through four are just one through four dots. Five is the horizontal bar. Six is a horizontal bar with a dot. And then notice when we reach 10, we have two horizontal bars and so on. Before we look at our examples, let's talk about writing Mayan numbers. Number one, when numbers are written in vertical form, there should never be more than four dots in a single place. Two, when writing Mayan numbers, every group of five dots becomes one bar. And three, there should never be more than three bars in a single place. Four bars would be converted to one dot in the next place up. It's the same as 10 getting converted to one in the next place up when we carry during addition in base 10. But again, the focus of this lesson is converting Mayan numbers to base 10 numbers. So let's take a look at some examples. Again, our goal here is to convert the Mayan number to base 10. Notice how the Mayan number is written vertically and there are three places. And therefore, we know the place values will be here, here, and here from the bottom up. So this is the 20 to the zero or one's place value. This is the 20 to the first or 20's place value. And this is the 20 to the second or 400's place value. Starting at the bottom, this horizontal bar is five, the dot is one. So this represents six times the place value of one. Here we have two horizontal bars, that's five plus five or 10, plus two dots, that's 12. So this represents 12 times the place value of 20 to the first, or 20. And here we have three dots, that means three times 20 to the second, or 400. And we'll find these products, and then find the sum to determine the Mayan number in base 10. So three times 400 is 1,200. 12 times 20 is 240. And six times one, of course, is six. 1,200 plus 240 plus six is equal to 1,446. So this Mayan number represents 1,446 in base 10. To indicate base 10, we can put a subscript here of 10 to avoid any confusion. Let's take a look at a second example. 
Notice here we have one, two, three, four places, or four rows. So we'll be using these four place values, starting from the bottom up. So here we have two dots, that means two. So this would be two times the place value of one. Here we have five, ten, fifteen, plus one is sixteen. So we'd have sixteen times the place value of twenty to the first, or just twenty. Here we have five, ten, plus three, that's thirteen, times the place value of twenty to the second, which is four hundred. And then here we have one bar, that's five times the place value of twenty to the third, which is the eight thousandths place value. So now we'll find these products and then find the sum. So here we have forty thousand. Here we have thirteen times four hundred, that's five thousand two hundred. Sixteen times twenty is three hundred twenty, and two times one is two. Forty thousand plus five thousand two hundred plus three hundred twenty plus two is equal to forty five thousand five hundred twenty two. And again, this is base ten, which is the value of the given Mayan number in base ten. In our next lesson, we'll take a given number in base ten and measure it as a base 20 number as well as a Mayan number. I hope you found this helpful.